Hey guys, welcome back to your third intermediate Roblox Lewis scripting tutorial and today we're gonna go into dictionaries. So you might be asking, hey Austin, what's a dictionary? And no, it's not the book that you look up definitions of words in, that's called Google. A dictionary is a table, it's like a table except you don't have integer keys. For example, when you print uh, for IV in pairs, table do print IV, um, that'll print the index and the value uh, or the key of that uh, index. So it'll, the first ones will be one, so it'll say one, uh, whatever the value is. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna print one, the string true, two, the bool false. But in a dictionary, that's not how it works. A dictionary does not have integer keys. An integer is a true, or, or not a true or false number, a whole number, a positive or negative whole number. So a dictionary can have uh, its keys can be virtually any other data type. It can be a string, an object, or even a bool. Although you, I don't see why you'd ever really want to use a bool for a key or a yeah, yeah, key. Um, objects, those are a little less common that I see, but dictionaries are mostly string keys rather than integer keys. Local dict equals, uh, we use the brackets just like a table, key, blah, equals value, key2 equals true, uh, workspace.baseplate equals false. IV in pairs, dict, do print IV. So, uh, it printed base plate false, key value, key to true. Uh, this, I guess this got bumped to the top because objects are prioritized over, uh, over strings in a dictionary? I don't know, I've never actually seen that before. Um, but yeah, you can see what it does there. We can even set this to false equals false. It'll print false, false. Um, so yeah, I I, uh, I mentioned dictionaries probably a couple times before. I know I mentioned it the other night when I was going over the NPC module in Hands of Death. Uh, this loot table is a dictionary. We search for a mob by its name in the loot table. Uh, loot table, you index it by the brackets, mob, and loot table, orc marauder, is there. We pass the uh, argument orc marauder. And then we can do uh, mob bracket gold. That's going to equal 20. Mob bracket XP is 10. Uh, and so on and so forth. So this string is equal to a table. You can have tables inside of tables, tables inside of dictionaries. <coughs> Um, yeah, so dictionaries are useful for a lot of things. I use them pretty often. They're useful for uh, what I just showed you there, holding, you know, large, large amounts of data. Like, you could have a module script in replicated storage for what I just did, or to hold data about shop items. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, 
I had an example in mind of something I was gonna do. Uh, yeah. Okay, so one thing you need to know about dictionaries is print length dictionary. Now, normally when you print, use this uh, length operator on a table, it'll print however many indexes or keys there are in that table. But when you do that with dictionary, it's always going to print zero. Uh, 60, okay, 67 equals law. Okay, yeah, that would still print zero because we still have a dictionary even though we just made one integer key. It's still a dictionary. It has mixed keys. Like keys with mixed data types. Like we have a string, uh, an object, we just had an integer. Um, so, say, okay, I'm going to solve a common problem with dictionaries. Say you want to get a random index out of a dictionary. We would, you'd probably think to do something like this. Uh, random one length of dictionary. And normally that would work if this was a regular table, but like a... print a random one, but that's not the case here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bad argument 2 to random, interval is empty. That means this argument, the second argument, it's empty because the length is 0. We can't do math.random 1 and 0. So, uh, one way to get around this is local tab equals uh, empty table uh, local function brand. Um, print brand dictionary. Um, we're going to return something at the end for i equals one dict do print dict i. Uh, this is another way to iterate what? I equals one. Oh yeah, because that's zero. I was about to show you another way to iterate uh, through a table with a regular numeric for loop, but since the length of dictionary is okay, never mind. Just never mind that. Disregard that, please. For IV in pairs, dictionary do. Uh, per, we're just gonna get the values from the dictionary and put them in this table tab. Length of tab plus plus one equals v. Return tab math dot random one tab. Uh, what this does, it's basically like using table dot insert. Uh, we're indexing the tables last uh, index plus one. So right now the length is at zero, uh, plus one is one. If the length was three, it'd go to four. So essentially we're just pushing another value into that, then that table. True, it just printed true. For i equals one, uh, five, do this blah. okay I just added a couple more keys so you see it prints a random index every time so yeah keep that in mind when calling the length operator on a dictionary 
but yeah dictionaries can be useful for a lot of things you just have to get creative I mean just get creative and try to use them to fit your situations like one time I was making a map voting script and I used dictionaries to whenever a player voted go on the server the server kept a table of um or it kept a dictionary of all the players who had voted and what their votes were and everything so then it counted it all up at the end uh, so dictionaries are pretty useful uh, I guess that's it for now kind of already showed you guys how to practically use dictionaries yesterday so if you guys don't understand something as usual leave a comment I'll get back to you uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna decide what to make my next video on in within the next few days so I guess that's it I'll see you guys then thanks for watching